Hi, I'm Attorney Virginia Hunt. We are continuing our tour of the Hearings and Appeals Division where they conduct the contested Nevada workers' compensation claims. We have gone from the Hearings Division where if you get an adverse decision or even if you get a favorable one, the insurer can file a further appeal and that happens within 30 days and this is where it goes, the Appeals Office. So there's two levels of hearing. You have the hearings officer division down the hall that we just visited. Now we're going to the appeals officer's division. So come on in. First you will come in and you will come on over here and Cole will have laid out uh, the various calendars for the different appeals officers. You will find where you are on the calendar, sign in so that the appeals officer knows that you're here. Occasionally some of the attorneys have a conflict, they're doing more than one hearing at the same time, so the appeals officer wants to know that at least the attorney is somewhere here on the premises. Don't panic if you don't see your attorney because they could already be in a hearing room. So then you have a seat here in the waiting room and uh, then Cole will call the case and you will be directed to a particular courtroom. So let's go visit courtroom uh, of uh, Appeals Officer Crow. The first thing you'll notice is that the these courtrooms are set up like a little mini courtroom, just like you see on TV. Uh, whereas the hearings officer's division was a very informal setting, there were no recorder recordings, and we were all, they were all seated around a table, but here it is much more formal. This is the single most important hearing that you will have in your case. It is your last opportunity to present testim uh, testimony from witnesses and documentary evidence and to present an argument to the appeals officer. So the appeals officer will come in, will call the case, and is seated up here. The appeals officer has recording equipment, so we've gone away from having court reporters take down testimony to a recording. And then uh, each of the attorneys will be seated at council table with their clients. The microphones do not amplify, they are there to record. Usually the appeals officer will know what the particular issue is because the attorneys will have filed the hearing statement, letting the appeals officer know what the issue is, which witnesses are going to testify, and attached to that hearing statement will be all of the documents that the parties intend to enter into evidence. The first order of business is that the appeals officer will want to mark the evidence and either attorney can formulate objections to the evidence um, and, and after that is done then the hearing proceeds. So the first thing that happens is that if you're the injured worker ordinarily your attorney, if the issue is whether you were injured by accident uh, at work, they will want you to testify. You come over here to the witness chair. The appeals officer will ask you to raise your right hand. You will be sworn in to testify to tell the truth, and then you will have a seat in the witness chair. Your attorney then proceeds and asks you a series of questions uh, intended to elicit testimony to prove whatever the issue is on appeal and then opposing counsel will have an opportunity to ask you questions. The most important thing to remember here is to listen very carefully to the question and to remember that you are convincing the appeals officer not opposing counsel. Opposing counsel has a job to do but we are here to convince the appeals officer of our position. So the appeals officer then goes through each of the party's witnesses, and this could take several hours. It depends upon that particular issue on appeal. And um, 
it's really a mini courtroom setting. The rules of evidence are, are somewhat relaxed. We can allow in doctor's reports without having to have the doctor here to testify. Although we can take depositions of doctors if necessary. And um, at the conclusion of the hearing, which may or may, na may not be that particular day, because sometimes the appeals officers will want the attorneys to write closing arguments, to sum up the testimony, to sum up what's contained in the documents, and to present a closing argument, and that takes some additional time. And then the appeals officer sends out a letter to uh, the attorney who prevails and asks that attorney to write a proposed decision and order. Um, and uh, from there, the parties can go to the district court or to the Nevada Supreme Court. But that's an issue for another day. This is the appeals officer's courtroom, the most important hearing. 